Hello, Monsters Abound here, back from his holly bobs. Oh, I went to London, didn't I? It's all right, I guess. Don't bother with the science museum, it's rubbish now. It used to be great when I was a kid, now it's shit. On the other hand, Natural History Museum, really, really good. I honestly thought for kids, like the science museum would be the would be the good one, wouldn't it? I just remember being there, there just loads of stuff there to enjoy, and now it's just rubbish. What? How did you make it worse? What the fuck was that? And this, you know, Natural History Museum still still pretty good. Still got got dinosaurs in there. That was pretty good. Got big insects and stuff. That's pretty cool. Just generally pretty good, but science museum, rubbish. Uh, real shame. Anyway, never mind. So here we are back again. Uh, so there was a poll last time. The poll was, do we want to head west? Now that we've finished off, it, well, almost finished off with it. She still has the, uh, the well. No. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? You're going to get it, mate. Um, now we've finished off with it. I, I think Cathay are probably fine, actually. And my hope is once Cathay have mopped this up, if they ever do. I mean, they've been at it for 128 turns. One would hope that they're going to get their arse in gear at some point. I, I've been very busy. Cathay, not so much. Still, uh, we are maintaining... Oh, mind you, there's these guys as well, isn't there? No, oh, well, you say that. I mean, you're all taking damage, aren't you? So... And we got defences, which means we have a garrison here. So even if they attack, if, if, even if they are, they both attack us at the same time, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, a badly disguised werewolf is a bit of a fucking beast, um, so he should be fine. Meanwhile, uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to head west. So we're going to bring all of our forces westward to deal with the Empire, which obviously we're kind of friends with, but also sort of not because we need to kill them. Um, but we also need to do it so that we're, we're we maintain friendships. With the people, I, I need an, I need a military alliance. Or do I have a military alliance with these guys? No, I'm at war with them, and I don't understand why I'm at war. That's right, I remember. I remember it's all coming back to me. I don't know why I'm at war with these guys, but apparently I am. Oh, not a clue. I mean, they like me. I mean, they don't like my war, but I'm very much like, well, I didn't really want to be at war with you. Um, I don't even know why we're at war. I thought we were. I thought we were cool. What happened to you, Kislev? You used to be cool. My cruelty knows no limits. Indeed. Uh, we've also got dwarves kicking off as well, so that's fun. Uh, can we reach you? No, we don't have any movement points. Taking a little bit of attrition there, but overall, yeah, I think we're fine. We're fine. We're all good. Right. Good. Lovely. I'm tempted to give this all to Cathay. Um, are we not taking attrition here? Why aren't you taking attrition? Oh, because you're raiding. That's why. That's... Well, you are surrounded by dead people. That's pretty much... It's just, you know... Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I understand the concern. However, I think complaining about the smell of dead people when you are literally surrounded by dead people pretty much... I, mean, I don't know. Maybe you weren't complaining. Who knows? You might attack. I don't think you can even reach them, to be honest. What can you do? You can hinder replenishment. Not really going to change my life. But a uh, bit of shades, on the other hand, might do. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Right, you're still chilling here. I'm going to stick... You now, you guys like to be a little bit... The problem is I'll take attrition if I go any further. Okay, just do an ambush there. Do an ambush. Also, we're being attacked by lizards from the below. It's the worst, be worst place to be attacked by lizards from below. Just very uncomfortable in general. Uh, Schwarzhafen is going to fall because we've got dwarves pouring out of our Blackfire Pass. Also quite a nasty place to have dwarves pouring out of. Definitely see a medical practitioner if you have short, hairy people coming out of your ass. I mean, Blackfire Pass. Uh, Sigwald, who the fuck are you? 
Oh, you're that guy. Yeah, you have actually done quite good work. I will give that to you. So that's nice. That's nice. S uh, your ticks. Okay, I don't need to worry about you. Bring me flesh to craft. Uh, what do you have in your army? Mostly zombies. Okay, let's give you ambush success chance. Anyone else? Afro, I uh, should be called Aphrodite. Someone suggested that ages ago, and uh, I've just been very lazy. Withering? Actually, change minds. Uh, safeguards. Wild eyed and impassioned. Anyone else? Oh, God. Okay, quick blood. Anyone else? Sir Hill. Sir Hill. Sir, right, you're going that way because we've got dwarves and and greenskins as well. That's right. It's all kicking off. Clara Soufe girl. Where did she get the eggs? Indeed. Um, there's no point blocking these guys because it makes absolutely no fucking difference. But let's do it anyway. And it made absolutely no fucking difference, as as is traditional. Uh, right, there's, there's dwarves throwing themselves at our defences down here. I don't think we're going to be able to hold that, to be honest. I think that is uh, living in a fucking dream world. There's just two... This is basically against the clock now, I think. It's like, can we actually secure the Empire, or will we just drown in enemy armies? Yeah, like this. Like this. Now, one of the problems is, of course, they will be cutting into my, my income, which is quite good. But, obviously, we're going to lose money as we lose settlements, which is a bad thing. Especially because we've got no one to stop them. We're going to concentrate everyone on dealing with... I, I don't mind the crisis if you can sort of, like, concentrate on it. But I think when there's crises, I, I think this is the problem with that mod. If there's just crises all over the place, it just feels, like, unmanageable. It's just like, well, what's the... Like, you, you just get to the point where you're like, well, what's the fucking point? I may as well just not worry about it. I can't stop them. I can't oppose all of them at the same time. So why don't I just not worry about it? Hello. A crushing defeat, eh? Are you sure? Are you sure we get a crushing defeat? All right. We're waiting for the enemy reinforcements to come onto the battlefield. And once they do, they're going to run into a world of... Well, not hurt, but... Well, they won't be doing much running. They will slam straight into our zombie wall. And then we'll mop them up. This does mean, however... That more enemy reinforcements will be pouring onto the battlefield over here as bloody fucking Mary is going up against uh, artillery. And artillery, in fact, a lot of artillery. So, to be honest, being in a long line like this, not the best idea, all things considered. So we're going to spread out. Of course, we have uh, Goldwing, Gold Leader there. Unfortunately, most of the artillery does seem to be in the trees, and that does mean any shots will have to go... Well, they'll have to thread the fucking needle, won't they? So good luck with that. However, meanwhile, over the other side of the battlefield, we are mopping up the enemy reinforcements as they came onto the battlefield. They're being absolutely annihilated. Slaughtering them, which is exactly what we wanted. Meanwhile, this side of the battlefield, we're going to we're going to stay at range for the most part, just try and tease them, tease them a little bit, and uh, we're going to wait for our second army to arrive. Particularly because, as we destroy dwarves over here, reinforcements will continue to filter onto the battlefield. That obviously means that we'll be facing two armies here. We don't want to fight two armies with one. As the dwarves so dry up over here, we're going to leave. 
a small contingent of zombies behind, basically just to mop up. And because I mean, what's left here is is artillery units and missile units. Nothing too bad. So we're going to bring the rest of our army over here to assist with the push on the other two dwarven armies. This is a big ruck. A big old ruck. Enemy troops of almost 3,000 dwarves, which is a lot of dwarves. There's not many dwarves about. Those organ guns getting some shots off, trying to take down the mortis engine. Fortunately, the mortis engine, of course, will heal itself, so no problem there. We're keeping the blood knights in the trees just to shelter them from any potential missile fire or cannon fire that comes their way. And then we've got the cairn race hiding in the trees over here. Now, I suspected they would get spotted, but so far, the enemy army seems to be like, going around them. And uh, that's working out because that means our can race can sweep in and start taking out this artillery. Now, they will be unsupported, but worst case, they die. And they're already ghosts, so uh, no big deal there. Off they go to go and take out that artillery for us. The artillery's kind of been left on their left flank. Means our can race are free to just go ham. The melee attack, defense, and weapon strength are pretty good, which means the organ gun crew here is not going to be able to stop them. And while artillery units are trying to support each other, they're trying to support each other through trees. Which, of course, isn't working out very well for them. Our reinforcements are arriving on the flank here. We've got Gold Squadron led by Bloody Fucking Mary. And here come the Blood Knights. And the Mortis Endrins. And Zombles bringing up the rear. Although, I say, we've left some behind. Just to act as a little uh, drag net there to stop that artillery from just attacking us from the rear. And uh, there is Count Duckula. The Blood Knights now sweeping out of the trees and running down as many of these missile units as possible. This does mean they're pretty much first into the fight. Not ideal. I did, you know, I, I realistically, you probably want your um, your zombies in first and the Blood Knights as as mop up but in this case we're just going to have to deal with it because our zombies are going to be miles behind so trailing meanwhile i've got a line of infantry uh being attacked over here we've got the mortis engine supporting that which seems fine the can race are making a real just a real meal of of this artillery there's no one to stop them i thought they'd send units back to help but they didn't which means the artillery is just going down one after another and is meaning that the artillery actually isn't necessarily a huge problem for us here the main issue is going to be these melee units in the center because basically I kind of jumped the gun a little bit. I should have waited for the zombies to be in position and uh, let them deal with it. As you can see, we're getting roasted by the Iron Drakes. Fortunately, Count Duck Killer doesn't give a shit. Telsian flapping overhead on his dragon, landing in amongst the uh, Iron Drakes, trying to slow them down, stop them from opening fire. One of our units of Blood Knights is not doing very well. I think it's the Slayers. There's Slayers mixed in here, and uh, these guys are taking the brunt of that. We're trying to heal them up, but looking a little bit, uh, a little bit dicey. However, the numbers of the Dwarves are dropping very, very rapidly. The dwarves are now fighting on all fronts. Oh, Count Duckula, be careful. It's getting roasted. He's very, very toasty. Here come the zombies. Finally, unfortunately, he's blood I'm trying to get these blood knights out of melee combat, but at minus 50 happiness. Oh, they just die of sadness. God damn, they Padmaid. Padme? 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 Whatever, the, the lady from Star, Star Trek. That lady. You know, you know the one. Married Captain Kirk or something. We really need to lock down these these last few missile units. They're causing causing us an absolute absolute mare. An absolute mare. So we, we summon in some crypt horrors. That'll keep the fuckers busy, won't it? Yeah. Nicely they fixed the hover chair. 
Never mind. The hover chair is down. And as we mop up the survivors... Army losses start to take effect. Okay, well that's three stacks of dwarves dead. I wonder how many more they've got. Boop. Right. Uh, we got the Blood Knights back. That's all I really care about. And everyone else is fine. Yeah, not the crushing defeat. That uh, they thought that would be. Let's take the replenishment. Okay, that's a few less dwarves to deal with. I mean, obviously there's a lot more dwarves to deal with. Uh, you are attacking... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, no, that's... I mean, I've got the artillery. You've got mostly trash. In fact, pretty much all trash. Well, we'll find out, shall we? I mean... The Valley Disguise Werewolf is an absolute, absolute beast in melee combat, which means this the Golden Griffin of Thuyugi is going to get swirlied. While that's going on, we have three lines of defense and then back up in general, just in case. We've got a first line of skeletons. I've, I've accidentally put the ghouls out front. Oops, never mind. I can always get more ghouls. And uh, then we've got a line of grave guards. So they're a bit more tanky. And then behind that, we've got the zombies, who, of course, are tankier still, which means that should they manage to break through the first two ranks, they then hit our actual, actual main rank. Oh, and looks like Mr. Griffin had a stroke. Never mind. Uh, we do have some flyers, which I think I probably should deal with. So the Knights of Immolation. Who are almost in range of my cannons. Sorry, who are in range of my cannons. Bonk. Imagine going through all the work of learning to ride one of these things and getting twatted off your, your fucking disc by a by basically a giant iron ball. Fired at speed. It's rubbish, isn't it? Look at that. So we're gonna murder these guys. No problem. We do have some screamers as well. You know me, love a screamer. So while they're getting blasted, they've, <laughs> they've got aspects of the Dread Knight cast on them. I don't know what that's really doing. I guess you have some... Do you have physical resistance? Oh, you do have 35% physical resistance. So I guess there is that. Um, what's that? You've got Chaos Tomb Blade as well. So that just regenerates and does... So yeah, basically you're just a, you're just a big murder boy, aren't you? I mean, they can try and spirit leech you, but it's going to do absolutely nothing. As you have beaten up the Chaos Tomb Knights, and now you're going to kick the shit out of a Feral Manticore. And then the, the Screamers as well, just for... Just for the icing on the cake. And there's Archeon going, Don't worry, lads! This won't be like last time, where everyone dies. And everyone's like, I'm sorry, what happened? Oh, uh, d d don't mention it. Prince. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Because, right, because I, I downloaded a mod to um, to change the look of some of the Nurgle units. So rather than just a normal Chaos Boy, he now looks like an actual Chaos Boy. Oh, that's amazing. That's great. That's really nice. And to be honest, why the fuck didn't they do... I mean, okay, I'm... I'm... You know what? I, I'm, I'm generally... Like, you know what? CA do put a lot of work in. But then modders come out with shit like that, and you're like, well, why didn't CA do that? And I, I guess there might be some problems with the models or something. So, that could be a reason. 
Anyway, so we're mopping up the enemy flying force just so it can't mess with our artillery. Meanwhile, we rain rockets down on the heads of the Marauders and the Mirror Guards. Yeah, you better run. Having wiped out all the flying forces in the enemy army, including a Lord of Change, we've racked up almost 4,000 damage dealt as gold, and we've only just got started. Now, the enemy army does include Uncle Fununcle, the great unclean one, as well as uh, Bilius Thunderguff. It's quite a, quite a large large force. Coming in at uh, 1,364, of course. They would have had 2,000, but they've taken attrition as they've marched down towards us. Archon is very one like single-minded, isn't he? Now, I, I have no interest in like advancing into Chaos Way. So realistically, like attacking in this direction is just the worst fucking thing he could do. But he really wants to, apparently, so we're just gonna let him. Really? You think? So just hanging out above RK on there, because obviously if we were to throw uh, a bad in disguise werewolf into the fight right now, he'd probably be fine, but he probably wouldn't, like, you know, get much done. So we'll leave them. Leave them be for the moment. We do have some attackers on the flank. They've mostly just been chucking shit at us. Um, mostly at these skeleton warriors. Good job. You've managed to kill some skeleton warriors. My goodness. Whatever will I do? Come on, guys. Get your shit together, guys. Come on. It's Ograx. What does he have? He's got Cloud of Flight. What does Cloud of Flight do again? Uh, one of defense. Avi's engaged in melee combat. Fair enough. Yeah, so he's charged the Crypt Ghouls. Um, I'd forgotten about the Crypt Ghouls, to be honest. So, I mean, he... Yeah, he's fine. What's this? The Armour of Damnation. Oh, fancy. All right, there is Archeon. He is throwing himself into our front line. I don't really care what happens to our front line, to be honest. Because uh, we've, we've got a fair few lines in the way to stop them. Right, are we gonna be doing some Terror Geist breath? Got a nice big blob of enemies here. We don't have much magic in this army and it would be nice to have a little bit more magic, maybe like a vampire or even just a necromancer and, and God knows we can we can definitely we can definitely have some necromancers. But uh, that did some reasonably good damage up to 37 kills, 4,400 damage dealt as gold and then Archeon is now just mowing through our front oh, through our lines through our lines of defense it's uh, it's it's complex like an onion hello buddy remember me yeah he does he's like oh fuck not again so Archeon and a badly disguised werewolf going at it once again a little duel Mano a Mano. One, the ever chosen of the Chaos Gods. The other, a badly disguised werewolf. And it uh, seems like the latter is uh, is winning this battle quite decisively. Very one-sided. He's even like, nope. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut my own way out. Thank you very much. I mean, Archeon is a tough cookie, don't get me wrong. He's just... He's just not very good. We're kicking the shit out of him. I mean, it probably does help, but... How much bonus first large do we have? Uh, 55. Yeah. 
Okay, and with 50 health remaining, is desperately trying to get out of dodge. It looks like they're trying to they're trying to take down the baddie disguised werewolf with javelins, which is it's just like a a gentle acupuncture. Arkeo now fleeing the battlefield with his 33 hit points remaining, with the baddie disguised werewolf right on his tail. Will he get away? I mean, no is the answer, but for some reason he seems to be moving fast enough that we can't actually land to attack him. So I guess we're just going to have to do this the easy way, which is to cast Spirit Leech on him and watch him die from a heart attack. And there he goes. Okay, they've broken through our front rank. And in some cases, through our second rank as well. Mostly on our left flank. So we'll send a badly disguised werewolf in to assist. I say assist, I mean basically murder anything large that gets in our way, like the Uncle Fununcle there. He's a big boy, but we've taken down the fucking Ever Chosen. Get him, buddy. Meanwhile, continuing to keep the enemy at bay. Even the Grave Guard actually managing to hold the Chaos Warriors back in many places. But we definitely have the upper hand. All the greater demons down. Battle of the Skies Werewolf now going for the Giants. And Prince, oh, Prince Ograx is there as well. Looks like we decided to pick on him instead. The Zomboles continuing to hold. They're just an unbreakable wall, aren't they? Those fucking guys. Mind you, Prince Ograx has got like 186 kills. Jesus Christ, seriously. I mean, it's not for, I mean, you know, they're not very good kills. We've got 39 and 9,000 damage dealt as gold. What the fuck? And this guy's got 191 kills and 859. Yikes. Get him, buddy. You got this. I, I, want, to see, I, want, to, I want the big 10k. I want the big 10k damage dealt as gold. Give it to me, baby. Both the enemy generals down? Both the enemy generals are down. A lot of the enemy army is down as well. They've only got 3, 270. It looks like army losses are taking effect. And the Chaos Army flees the battlefield, which is the cue for our cavalry to hunt down and run down as many of these Chaos bastards as possible. Unfortunately, I don't think a Bally Disguised Werewolf broke the big 10k. 950, sorry, 9,500 damage down to gold. He's such a good boy. Right, I just had to pop down to the post office. We don't actually have post offices anymore. Um, there's just occasionally someone will pop up with a box and they say they're the post office. So I had to pop down to the post office. Um, in between that battle to send a phone back. Your words and be gone. Gave my wife's cousin a lift back and uh, she forgot her phone. We had the weirdest diversion trying to get to East, was it East or West Croydon Station? I can't remember. We, there's two, two stations. You know what I find ostentatious about, about fucking London? Right? They've got they've got a fucking train station with 19 platforms. 19! You don't need 19 platforms. That's insane. You know how many platforms we have in Cornwall? Two! 
You've got one going one way, one going the other way. That's all you need. Otherwise, it's just confusing. How do you know where you're going? It's insane. Anyway, so I had to go and post it. Yeah, but so we got put on a, wanted to go to East Croydon, West Croydon, one of the Croydon stations. I don't know. I was going to say the one with trams, but I'm sure they both got trams. The, the one that I always... Near, near, near the, the hub? Is it the hub box? Place? Went to a restaurant. I'm just talking about my London trip now. Went to a restaurant there like a couple of years ago with Squidge when he was like a little baby. And we went to the, the burger bar, which had like pounding like techno music. And I don't know why we went there because the entire experience was oppressive. Anyway, trying to get to whichever Croydon station and uh, there's a there's a road closed, diverted, right? Fine, we get diverted. So we're following the diversion. It soon to become apparent the diversion is just, it's just a circle. <laughs> like it just diverts you in a circle around the station endlessly. You don't go anywhere. There's, you never find the station. So we had to drop her off and she forgot her phone and we drove it back to Cornwall by accident. So I had to post it back. Anyway, uh, so non-aggression pack, Boris. Yes, Boris. Hush, my brothers. We have a guest. Yes, the brothers are noisy. Uh, no, you see what I'm, I'm probably going to do is just kill you. I'm probably just going to... Good, good. Yeah, I'm not surprised you want a peace treaty, mate. But you're not getting it. That ain't happening. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, sir, Reebok. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes life a little bit trickier. I mean, not much trickier, it must be said. But still, a little bit trickier. Okay, Black Crag is on the siege. I mean, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We're still making money. We're still making money, aren't we? Uh, of course you do. Of course you fucking do. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want a little crusade? Everyone wants a crusade these days, don't they? Oh, I can't stop. Fucking love a crusade. Mate, you are a monster. A literal fucking monster. Um... I guess Spirit Leech, because it's basically a spell you just cast all the time. You know what I want is a Necromancer. I'm going to get a Necromancer, but I'm not, I am. But I'm not going to do it right now because we have to kill these armies first. I get the sneaking suspicion I won't be able to auto resolve this. Let's get some more doggos. I get the sneaking suspicion. Oh, decisive victory. You know what? I would... You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I made a judgment of the auto resolve and I was in the wrong and I'm big enough to hold my hands up. I'm genuinely fucking shocked. <laughs> genuinely fucking shocked. Um, sure. I will not betray you. Well, you better not. Otherwise, you're fired, mate. Yes. Plunder the grimoire. God damn it. So many fucking skill points. Um, sure. 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 Can we just get everything here? And replenishment. Sure. I'm just going to tick you now because I don't really care what you do. Oh, but I am going to have to change your thingy, aren't I? Not Balefire. Unholy Lodestone. That's the one. That's the Healy one. We want the Healy one. We don't want the non-Healy one. As Bats and wolves. as the old nursery rhyme goes. On, isn't, isn't that right? Okay, Destroy let's finish them. these guys off. Seriously? Valiant fucking defeat. Are you shitting me? Are you actually shitting me? Come on, piss off. If I bring... It will be done. If I bring you in as well... And maybe if we take you out. Now, close victory. I'm going to kill anyone? You better bloody not. Jeez, okay, you kill some doggos, but I'm not. I'll level with you, I'm not that. I'm not that upset about it. Um, I'll keep the region for myself. Okay, everyone's dead. Which, of course, is our preference. Okay, okay, we've finally, for 130 turns in, we've cleaned out Village. 
No more village problems. No more village people. Fuck, why didn't I think of that joke before? The village people. just a good name for him, isn't it? The village people. I'm fairly sure Nerd Rage Fred. I, I get the sneaky suspicion Nerd Rage Fred has already made that joke, and I'm just copying him. I just... I'm going to lose the zombie. I don't care. Now the zombie's back. You can't keep a good zombie down. Talking of killing people, getting in my way... Uh, you're both badly fucked. Well, I say you're badly fucked. Sure, everyone come and help me. I'm helping. Um, decisive victory. Fine. Let us loot and occupy. Now, oh, don't run away. Come back here, you little shit. They do not want you escaping. Right. Right. Okay, there is still a lot of dwarves here, no to be way. fair. No, there are. There are quite a lot of dwarves. Um, so we're going to sort of head back this way. If we do get attacked, we can probably just retreat and uh, lure them in. If we can take out Karakadrin, I think that is going to be fairly optimal. Because the last thing I need is is more dwarves. We've already got enough dwarves. There's too many dwarves and wood elves. And there's now going to be Bretonians as well. On the other hand, maybe they'll kill uh, Kemla. Is that what I need to do? That one. That is this one. No, it's wood elves I need to kill. Why did I think I had to kill Kemla? Oh, that was the Kairos campaign, wasn't it? Um. Well, they then maybe they'll... Maybe they'll kill the Wood Elves? Maybe. You, you know, you never know. You never know. Maybe they will. Maybe. Maybe Master they will. Yes. Do you take me for a My knows no Fucking dwarves. Alright. Tell you what. Scooch down here. They shall despair. Ambush stance. I don't know why you're still fighting me. But we're at war. Katarin, why are we fighting? Katar I don't want to fight with you, Katarin. I want to be friends. So why are we fighting? Why? What? You know, where's the love? As the Black Eyed Peas once said. Ready. Where is the love? You've lost some stuff. So you come in here. Uh, you're 20. You're a 20. Right, we're, we're getting ready. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. We're going to head. Go west. There are. Where the there is clear. Go west. Something, something, something. Go west. There is empire there. Ooh. Healy things. Huh. Minus 30% attrition suffered in from non-vampiric territory. Well, I should have done that. Oh, mind you, it's not non-vampiric territory. It's fucking chaos waste. Corruption is my, is my problem over here, isn't it? That's the problem over there, isn't it? Uh, who hasn't moved? Fritz. No, you're, you just don't. You just, you just live there. That's just kind of your thing. And a badly disguised werewolf, once again, just being an absolute fucking boss. He's going to be an immortal horror. Of course he is, because battle healing cap means that he just literally will never die. He can he can literally fuck up Archeon, the ever-chosen. And um, now he's got even more health. I mean, what, what do you do? Telsian, I'm tempted to give you dark protection just to keep you alive a little bit. We do have blood knights though. So we probably should do this, shouldn't we? That just makes sense. It's just an obvious one, isn't it? And flying horrors for your Vargeists? Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's do something like that. Oh, we could get more Blood Knights. Oh, ooh, there's a whole bunch of cool shit here. We could get rid of the corpse carts and replace them with a mortis engine. Because we've already got one we've got dildo down here, don't we? I'm thinking we do that. So we get rid of you guys. We get one of you. I'm tempted to go for another Vargeis, but I think maybe Blood Knights. That way, four Blood Knights apiece. Count Duckula's only got two. Which obviously is a bit of a shame. He's also missing... Uh, you actually could have something... So what you don't actually have is, like, any necromancers or anything. Do we... Seriously, we don't have any building here to recruit shit from. I thought we had to... Let's get rid of that. Uh, I guess that's fine. The gold mine's okay. I like spreading corruption. Eshen, okay. Let's repair you. Schwarzhafen, I don't think there's any point. No, there's no real point uh, replenishing that. There's a lot of dead, like, body piles in this, this area of the Empire, which is, is good for us. I mean, we could maybe do. It's just anything we don't really want. But mind you, there's, yeah, there's not much here we don't really want, is there? But if we give it to Balthazar, he'll hold it for us. Particularly, like, if we're fighting Katarin. Welcome to my private study. Wine of palest gold will wet our palates whilst we speak. I do like a moist palate, it's true. Now, you like me, despite the fact that I'm at war with Katarin. And I really don't want to fight Katarin, but I feel like I'm going to end up fighting Katarin, despite the fact I don't want to. The Frozen Kingdom welcomes all its allies. Okay, Catherine, will you just... Who are you at war with? How about I declare war against those guys, those guys, those guys. How about I just declare war against everyone? Okay, that's going to be enough for you to chill the fuck out. And that's fine. A pleasure and right. Honor. Right, now we've... Right, we've made friends again, which is great. We can get a try. I don't know why we were at war. That's the really fucking confusing thing. This shall suffice. Right, we now we now have military alliances with Kislev. That's good. So we can now concentrate on murdering the dwarves. Um, and also Dryka. Although it does look like Dryka is pretty murdered already. I shouldn't really have much stuff left. Um, but then we need to sweep up here and sort of mop all this up. We can give stuff to Katarin and to... If, if, what we need to do is clean out these mountains first. We've still got the dwarves coming in from below. But I think what we need to do is, like, secure more of the Empire while we await our reinforcements. I think that's what we do. We have get, we're going to have to do it before... What does bloody fucking Mary have? We've got Zombles. Um, let's do something like that. Let's do something like that. Before, because the chorfs have been teased, haven't they? There's been a little bit of a tease there. So I'm expecting something. I mean, it's, it's, was it... Was it April or May? Because they're saying three DLCs this year, aren't they? That's what I've heard, three DLCs. So I'm expecting something fairly soon. Okay, we're doing something like that. That's good. Ah, uh, you're really gonna have to sort out your own fucking work materials, mate. I, I can't, I can't do it for you. I don't have the time. I have limited resources. You understand this, don't you? Please, just okay. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take some. I'm hoping to grab some stuff on the way through. I think what we might have to... I mean, Archaon is constantly attacking us um, from the north. It looks like Imric is moving in to potentially try and stop the Lizard invasion, but I, I don't. I'm not going to hold my breath on that. We're not going to hold our breath on that. Um, something like that seems fine. Basically, Blood Knights are great. You can throw them in anywhere. Occam's Mind Razor's always good. Immortal Will. Fantastic little bit of healing going on there. Darkness. 
Okay, yeah, so now we want to... If, if we can take out Karakadrin, basically, Ungrim is dead. I am a rune lord, not some smith. But to do that, we are going to have to break through a shit ton of fucking slayers. Which is its own problem. I'll have you speak now. Praise your gods. I... Ick it, mate. Yeah, no, to be honest, that's probably for the best for both of us. Because, you know, my friends don't really get on with you. You're kind of a little bit of a toxic um, influence. So probably, probably best to just end the friendship there, isn't it? Mm. Oh, the poor moot. The poor moot. Ooh, underway interception. Do I want to take that? Not really. Not really. To be honest, facing organ guns in a tight little narrow... Um, no. I'm going to say no to that because I don't like the idea of charging organ guns. Uh, oh, God, you're going for it, aren't you? You are fucking going for it. Look at this. He's a goer. He's a fucking goer. But what we can do is just retreat. And uh, then we can just hit them with everything. If only I had lightning strike. That would probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? A little bit of lightning strike. Why didn't I get lightning strike? Okay, we've had a rebellion in the Eastern Steppes. Uh, it's not a massive surprise, I guess, considering that... Soon, I'll be all powerful. That there's a lot of chaos corruption here. Oh, for fuck's sake. I just don't care. I'll pick up more zombies. It's fine. It's fine. A dark nexus. Ooh. More winds of magic. That's what we like. Yes, indeed. Right, how is public order doing here? Right, this is fine. We will boost this. It, it does look like Cathy are getting their shit together. It looks like even the Wood Elves have not managed to make much of a dent in that, which is great. Uh, Lock here appears to be going down. That's good for us. Comes. Now. You dare. I do, yes. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm tempted to get, go on the attack over here potentially, but let's concentrate on what's going on over here. So, so we did, we did kind of fall. Now, does anyone have lightning strike? I'm guessing no. I'm guessing we don't have lightning strike, which is fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit you. Oh, you're running away. Oh, oh, on Grim. That was a re, that was a mistake, wasn't it? That was a mistake. What about if I scooch you over here? And then we should get two people. Decisive victory. Uh, how much damage did that do? Um, uh, could have been worse, I guess. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I'm just... Okay, if we attack this, Pyrrhic victory. I don't really want you to exterminate my entire army with with that, which isn't even that that problematic, is it? Okay, fine. Zombles may be looking a little bit threadbare, but that's fine. We just need to hold the line while we mess up. Oh, there's so many fucking slayers. God, I really hate Slayers. They're just the worst. Oh well. Let's set fire to them. Oh, that was that was very successful. Wow. Yeah, no, that worked really well. Okay, our reinforcements are arriving. The main army is over here, and we're basically just going to ignore them. Because I think if I take out Ungrim and his reinforcements, then... Uh, that little force should just run away, saving us all the bother of walking over there. Now, this is a little bit chaotic. Trying to use as much magic as possible to debuff and kill the Slayers. Obviously, otherwise they will do a shit ton of damage to us.
Trying to debuff them as well. Suck down, suck off, suck off, suck down, suck off the hell. Sword of Flies, Relic. Where the fuck is Sword of Flies coming from? What's that from? Don't know. Uh, Reliquary of Corruption, though, will be slowly draining their health across the board, which is exactly the kind of shit we need. Also locking down those missile units so they can't shoot me, because I don't like being shot. I know it's funny, I just don't enjoy it. Please don't split me in twain. So if I attack them on the flank with the Blood Knights, I feel like massed like that, they'll probably be fine. We are trying to kill Ungrim. Of course, he is unbreakable himself. He also has uh, quite nasty stats, but I think Count Duckula being a, a, a Strigoi vampire should be able to take him out. He's also sundered his armor. It's, it's just 98 melee defense. There we go. That's a little less melee defense. A little bit less melee defense. Here come more Zombals throwing themselves into the fray. To see the number of dwarves is dropping rapidly and yep sure enough i haven't lost most of my army just like uh, those guys that hill going how's it going is everything fine yeah no i don't think everything's fine i mean Assuming you're a dwarf. All right, Ungram is going down slowly. It looks like we've mopped up this flank. Just some slayers have to finish off there. Some slayers have to finish off there. That should be okay. We might not even have lost any zombies. Should be nice. And uh, it should only take us one turn to replenish. And ideally, we can then move up and uh, take out Karakadrin. Without Karakadrin. Ungrim ain't going to be able to recruit nasty units, nor will he be able to just pile out armies like he has been doing. And then hopefully we can just wipe out that faction, and then we don't have to worry about them. Basically, we need to secure some borders. I need to secure some borders, and then we can concentrate on securing the Empire and winning the campaign. These guys moving. Oh no, they're running away. There we go. Nope, they're legging it. They've gone. Army loss has taken effect. Just the unbreakable units left on the battlefields. Boop! Did we actually lose anyone? No. Cool. Right, well, there we go. There we go. Oh, bloody fucking Mary's got some stuff. We got perfect vigor. And I think if we push up quickly enough, we should be able to wipe. Oh, hello. Uh, what could we get? What could we get? I'm tempted to get. Um, oh, fuck, I'm gonna get Terror Geists. Telsian gets a Terrorgeist. This episode is called Telsian gets a Terrorgeist. It's a blue reference for you. Uh, let's go with... Do we have any more Varg... Yeah, fuck it, Vargolf. Why not? Big Vargolf energy. Did you lose someone as well? Jesus. Jeezy creasy. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get another black chair. I don't, I don't even know why. Black coach. Not entirely sure why, but we're doing it anyway. Uh, where is the... Oh, it's over there. So actually, you can stay there. Follow me. You can move up. Right, I'm hope we, we need to swing around, hit Karakadrin. Now, I didn't intercept these guys, but there's a reason I didn't intercept them. And the reason is, if I attack them in the underway, I have that long, straight corridor. Which is not very nice. Whereas if I attack them here, I can flank the fuckers. Um, I could lightning strike, but that's just going to make me tired, isn't it? It's not actually going to help me in any way, shape, or form. I know what you're thinking. 
Hey, Monsters of Bound, how do you like those flanking maneuvers you can do? Shut up. Shut up. All right, shut up. You're not as funny as you think you are. All right. Dick. Fuck. Fine. F I. Uh, do I know we? Oh, I, don't, I fuck it. I. I don't know. I don't know. Half the stuff I. Fuck it. I don't know. I don't know. Is that even a proper shadow for that? Where's the gap in the? Where's even the light source coming from? Oh, okay, this, this, this makes sense. It's very blocky though. This shadow doesn't make any sense. That's the problem with this map. That's. That's the prop. Anyway, um, so we, we've got organ guns. Four organ guns. Now, we can outrange them, and we have been shooting them with our cannons. The idea being we take them out, like this one over here. Because if we can wreck the organ guns, they can't shoot me. It's a little thing we call strategy. I mean, it's kind of working-ish, uh, but now we're taking return fire. And uh, organ guns will just cleave through our zombies. Ow. Th I mean, thankfully, they're mostly shooting at Gorst. Is that good? It's not great for him, I guess. More acceleration, deceleration. Okay, uh, we're going to have to heal these zombies up because they are taking considerable damage, even though they, you know, are regenerating very rapidly. We need to concentrate our missile fire on these slayers. Because the best slayer is one that's filled full of arrows or bullets or ideally cannonballs. A little bit more, a little bit more, more fire, more fire. There we go. There we go. I mean, it hasn't done huge amounts of damage, but uh, it's, 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 you know, tickled at them. Tickled away on their health. We're going to try and take down those iron drakes. Meanwhile, a little, a little Karum Liru has stuck around the flank there. Now, one thing we do have to be careful about is that our cannons, the Cathay cannons, I think it's because they're so big. They just tend to get shot to pieces. Like, missile units will break the cannons. In, in a couple of volleys. It's absolutely devastating. Uh-oh. Louie. Louie, get out of there. Stop, stop asking. Innocent is like Louis Theroux. He's asking slightly probing questions, but in a, in a disarmingly British way. Uh, so, how, how, how did you become a Slayer, then? That's probably why they hate him so much. Anyway, so we're killing off the missile units. We've managed to... Yeah, see? We have managed to sneak around the flank. Look at this! Flanking attack! Yeah! Fuck you! Suck a dick. Still getting shot to pieces, though. I summoned in a white white king, but he's not doing anything. Because the enemy moves. So a little wind of death there is going to do some damage, but not actually kill many people. Gorst is healing himself up, which is good, and Louis is also healing himself up, which is also double good. But we need our cavalry to come in from the rear and finish this off. We're taking way too much damage here. There we go. There we go, lads. There we go. Ow, why are they still shooting at me? Oh, there's only like two of them left. No, three. There's three of them left. And my cannons. Are, I lose more oxen this way. Look at the poor lads. Do you know how many oxen I get through? It's catastrophic. Look, all of these cannons are dead. The crew, basically unharmed. The cannons, absolutely fucking wrecked. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Either way. We have secured victory, underway or not. Okay, so underway fight anyway. But at least we didn't wipe them out in one battle because that would have been too much fun or something. 
Never mind. They're dead now. Ugh, they're coming around. They're coming around the flank. Is there any more dwarves? It doesn't. It seems to just be those armies. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Yes, my I don't, sire. I don't know what your plan is. Ascendant. Not sure what your plan is. If you want to attack the dwarves, like, you know, more power to you, mate. I am 100% behind that. Knock yourself out. I'm tempted to go for the sack, but I just know that it's going to make me fight it, and I don't really want to. I just don't want to fight another battle which gives me, you know, a thousand money for fighting it. Telsian, you can beguile people. It's what you do, to be fair. Big beguiler. Uh, uh, Count Duckula, you can have... Fuck knows. Uh, you've got all of that. you got Blade Shield. You already cause horror. You know what? I'm not... I don't dislike the Battle Healing Cap. I don't dislike it. In fact, I go so far as to say I do quite like it. Okay, walking dead, the unliving host, because of course we're always going to have zombies, and you are ticked, so I don't need to worry about you. Job is a good one. Count not far out, not not far out too. What do you have again? Uh, mostly zombies. More zombies. I. Hmm. 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 Got greater arcane conjure. Uh, mentor. Let others learn from your experience. Verena, you are again oh, mostly a zomble girl. You, dare. you can have more pit of shades because I like it. Clara Soufli girl. You can block him? No, you're not very good, are you? You're just not very good. You're not very good at doing stuff. Basically, I just want people to stab. Is that so much to ask for? Is that too much to ask for? Uh, let's get you out of there. Uh, let's get you in there. Um, look, just use Google Maps like everyone else. Right, there's no points. Karak Eight Peaks is going to fall, as is Black Crag. There's just fuck all we can do about that. So we may as well just keep them occupied as long as possible. And maybe Scarstick can do some stuff. I don't know. May... I mean, unlikely, but maybe he can keep them busy. What the fuck are you guys up to? You may look upon me. Infused by Hoeth wisdom. You're attacking the lizards. Why? Why? Uh, I've got the Von Karstein Hall, but I can't build it yet. Do I want the relic? Ah, sure, why not? And the moot is currently on fire, so good stuff there. Hanuport, sure we'll upgrade that to max level. Nan Gao, sure we'll upgrade that. To, I mean, we've got lots of money. Have I not? I just not been building these, have I? I've been very remiss, regrettably. Uh, is there anything that's going to give us more? You know what? More money. I think is is probably a good shout. Here again, probably income. Um, public order is okay at the moment, but yeah, the climate is like a minus nine. An undivided corruption, which is dropping. Which is dropping. <sighs> Devastation is dropping as well. If we can just up, if, if we can get these buildings, that's going to give us three control, three, six, seven, eight, nine. So that out, that's, that wipes out the, the climate. Then we have the Vampiric Corruption, which is plus 10. So we should be fine here, eventually. Um, but it might be a good idea to, like, get... 
get the extra control just to be on the safe side until we're... Who the fuck are you guys? Karakang... Where the fuck is this? Oh, there. Um, I'll be honest, guys. I don't think there's much point building an outpost. Sorry. P probably... You're nice and all. Don't get... You know, you're lovely people. Don't get me wrong. I just... I'm worried about all the, the wood elves outside with the tights and the bows. Uh, yeah, more lizards. It's a crying shame. In the far reaches of darkness. Oh, when did you arrive? Do you just sit there pontificating? Is that a thing? Who are you friends with? I mean, you're at war with the people we don't like, so... I guess so? Let, let's do it. Right, more friends. I mean, Rapants will probably just run over them. But at least maybe the Dwarves, the Wood Elves and Rapants can just kick the shit out of each other. It says Valiant Defeat. I will take that Valiant Defeat on the chin. If, if I was more invested about trying to keep the dwarves back, I might fight it. Admittedly, with Thorgrim there, the, the chance of me actually winning that battle is very, very low. I don't even know how I'd kill Thorgrim, to be honest. If I killed the rest of his army, I might be able to make him run away. But that's the only thing I can really think of. Wait, we're, wait, wait. Hello? 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 Do we have a garrison here? We do have a garrison here. Right, we're going to have to deal with that little problem. We're going to have to deal with that little problem. But first, this little problem. The problem is dwarves. The solution is death. Now, if we can just take out these complete and utter bastards. We've still got like four bloodlines to go. I think that's going to be the poll for next time. Yeah, the poll for next time is going to be, who do we want to go bloodline-wise? Because we could go Von Karstein. So that would give us another five control. Not, not very exciting, but there we go. Um, we could save up for the Blood Dragons. That would give us more Blood drag, more blood Knights, I should say. Um, those guys are pretty legit. Alternatively, we could get more campaign line of sight. Nah, not that really, not, not that useful this early on. Or alternatively, we could also get some more crypt horrors um sure i don't know why that is it seems like a like it's you know terror geists maybe like if it was more terror geists i'd be like oh cool but crypt horrors i mean they're pretty early game monsters to be honest you don't really want to use them this late in do you unless i'm missing something but of course we'll also get a vampire to pick from as well and i do quite like the stragoi vampires i mean the vaughn casting i can take or leave with me and i'm pretty cool and we do have enough money, maybe. I mean, we're, we're going to lose settlements. But the important thing is, we're going to kill the dwarves. We get, they, they run away. They run away. They run away. That's fine, because I can just attack the settlements. And if we take Karakadrin, then they won't be able to reinforce themselves with shit tons of slayers. I don't think anyway, which would be a massive bonus. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.